What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? It's Chris, back with you with another cool video. Um, all right, guys, just want to give you the heads up. If you haven't already seen it, um, I've got another uh, Google Plus uh, broadcast happening Saturday, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Hope you guys can tune into it. Um, if you guys are not familiar with this, you can do this here. You can go to my homepage, um, and you'll see it right here, of course, and you'll be able to scroll down and see all the videos. But if you go to the banner right here, and you go down to the Google Plus, click on that, and what it'll do is it'll send you to my Google Plus page. And when you go there, you'll see it right here. Okay, and it says Mars and Moon and other anomalies, you know, so on and so forth. Tomorrow, March 7th, 9 p.m. Um, it says, are you going to watch? Just click yes. And I th I'm almost positive it will give you a uh, the, the countdown and when it started. And let's say you haven't, you had totally forgotten about it. It'll tell you when it's already in session, so on and so forth. And the other thing is, too, is I, I know some of you guys had missed out. I think you said something about, well, he's not answering questions here on YouTube. What I'm going to try to do is just in case some of you don't find your way over to the Google Plus, I'm going to have it on my other screen. I'll have that on and I'll have the, I'm going to hopefully have um, that particular YouTube video, that part of it playing as well. So if anybody pops any questions there, I'll, I'll try to see if I can get back to you. If not, I'm going to see how it works because I haven't done it with the, uh, done that and try to watch at the same time. So, you know, we'll just see how that plays out. But anyway, you guys will know how to get to that. Just a little heads up. Um, and like I said, you just go in there and you got to watch and click, so on and so forth. But anyway, all right. So this is what I had, guys. I had this. This is pretty cool. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with J.P. Skipper's uh, uh, site. He has, I'm almost positive it's here. Um, a couple of people asked me to check this out. Now, I've seen this a long time ago. It's been out quite a bit. Uh, it's been around the, the web, I should say. Um, and it is pretty interesting. And it depends on your perception how this looks. In other words, I look at this thing and I okay, when I look at these two two photos here, are they standing straight up, the blur? The blur itself, is it actually standing straight up or is it actually laying down? Maybe there's a crack or crevice running along the ground and they're trying to block it out. Or is there multiple something sitting in this, in this blur? I mean, I don't know. Uh, so I'm glad people had mentioned this because a lot of people said, well, you know, I love the way you analyze pictures and these pictures could you please take a look at these now there's been two like in the last week had asked me to do this so thanks for doing this because i've really wanted to get into this and i have um one thing that disturbs me about these guys jp skipper richard hoagland these guys will not dig into these pictures you know what i mean they'll say oh look at this they're, they're structures they, they could be correct they could be wrong nobody knows um, you know, I wish they would dig more into it. Well, I did. And I'm going to tell you what, I found some pretty wild stuff in there. Um, and I believe it's something that's laying down, meaning they're trying to block several things on the ground, uh, not just something standing straight up, but it's still equally pretty cool. Um, okay. Let me see what I've got here. All right. So this is the picture here, which is again, pretty neat. Um, and you guys can, and let me just jump back to this real quick. Now you guys can go to right here and then you can go to his home page Mars Anomaly Research now it's pretty cool you can see the other one another one right here in the middle at the top there's another moon picture several other things here I don't know if this it seems like somebody's brought this to their site or something I don't think this is all theirs what they've done but regardless it really doesn't matter they're anomalies regardless so it's a pretty good collection of stuff here um, again my biggest uh, complaint is about you know, they don't dig. They don't really analyze these pictures. And there's several more. You can see them right here. And I may be getting into these, too, just to check them out to see what they are. Okay. Jump back into Photoshop. Okay. At first, I tried different, you know, uh, approaches. Now, my first one was to simply try to use, like, I'll just uh, desaturate. So, in other words, get all the color out. And then what I'll try to do is I'll either do use the contrast and brightness to see if we can actually go into this in other words and then sometimes uh, what i'll do is i'll go into my the tool here go into the burn tool and use uh shadowing and see and go through this see if you can find it well this is what i found the first time i'm going okay i'm starting to see something in there but it may be nothing more than simple artifacts um so really wasn't too happy about that i said okay well let's do this let's start from scratch again desaturate and this time we're going to try to sharpen it see if you can see anything and this is what i came up with both times, at least in this, I've seen this right here in the left picture. See that right there? I've seen that, and I've seen what looks like something right here standing up, and I'm saying, what the hell is that? Maybe nothing, it's just simple artifacts. Okay. Again, I've seen it right here in this one when I first, and there's another one. And I'm going, huh. Well, maybe it's nothing. All right. But 
I want you guys to take note of something. If you notice when you zoom into this, and I'm just going to just check this out right here. You can see where this white area, this contrasted piece goes into the blur. And a lot of this you will see, like this right here, this rock or whatever, this highly contrasted again going into the blur. Okay. And the same thing applies with this one. Look at this white one right here in the right picture, this white contrasted area. It also goes into it. Okay. So now I'm thinking, okay. So if I could see this white contrasted rock, surface of Mars, whatever it may be, okay, then how big can whatever this thing is be, if it's anything? So, okay. So then I decided to take a different approach. I said, why don't we just use the regular picture that came, this one here. I started to dig into this. Guess what I found? Check this out. There's some funky things starting to come into this one and so forth in this one. But check this out at the bottom. There's something there. Now, before I show you that, I want to show you this. This is pretty funky because, again, look at this right here, these rocks. What I do is I dulled out a lot of these rocks. You can see how they turn grays. I just kind of like just went into, and I'll show you this so you guys can see this yourself. Go into the highlights, eh, exposure 2%, and just, just so you can dull out the brightness. You can, you know, uh, so it wouldn't be such a contrast on your eyes. And like I said, these rocks go into the blur. I'm saying, okay, hmm, all right. But... I did notice something in these pictures, and you're going to see that right now. This is pretty cool. This is a structure of some kind. And that is just foolery. They're just playing with it, but check this out. This is what I come up with on both the right and the left picture. Pretty funky. Now, I want you guys to take note of something because check this out. Right here, you can see these lines go up and over to the other side of the blur. Up and over the side to the other side. Now question is are they multiple this is the reason why i said this may be a, a blur to lay down to lay down the actual in other words there might be something here something in the back something in the back of that one so on and so forth, and they just 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 actually just blocking the ground that's on the ground horizontally and not a blur standing up you understand what i'm saying so and the same thing applies to this i'm not sure what to make of this you know this is i don't know what this is it looks like a bunch of grids or something i don't i don't know what that is but these are clearly there now, I went to black and white just to see, okay, well, all right. And then I said, well, now, this time I put from this one, I put a slight blur. So you'll see right down here, and it's a slight blur. So now you can see things not so much grainy, but you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm wondering if these are independent things that there's an opening in the ground, and this is laying on the ground, as well as this, whatever this is, as well as this here. I'm thinking that this is actually laying down. It's not actually structures, meaning multiple, or there is multiple rather, not just one singularity in one just single um, uh, tower. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Then I went back again, black and white, and this is what I, <laughs> this was funny because I, I'm looking at this thing. I'm saying, okay, when I went into this again, I'm looking at this piece here, and I was trying to find this again right here. So this is what I was looking at too. This is kind of I don't know if that's on the ground. It's hard to determine which way your eyes. Again, if this is blurring something out that is uh, anomalies laying on the ground, or if it is, in fact, structures standing up. And again, the only thing I can think of, it is actually multiple structures. That's the only conclusion I can come up with. But see what happens when you dig? You can find things like this, and they're clearly there. So, you know, I don't understand why these guys don't dig into these pictures a little bit more to really find out what's going on. Now, again, this is what I found. Now, is it BS? Is it something, I mean, again, I'm looking at this piece here. I don't know if I can do this, but let's do it this way. Let's go to, yeah, let's just select it. So it's right here. Do that. Okay. So now, whoops, my bad. Okay. So if you were to look at right here, you can see these pieces, they're actually going into the blur. So now you go, okay, well, so it makes you wonder if it is, in fact, uh, let me do this. Right here, you can see that. It's going into the blur. But the crazy thing about this is that you can see these lines, and I'm just going to thin this out a little bit more because it is, in fact, just a hair bit too big. It's not what I wanted. We'll go here. Now check this out. It goes up and goes over to the other side. This one comes over here, comes back down, and goes over to here. There's clearly some kind of somethings or other <laughs> in this blur. What this stuff is is beyond me. I, I just don't know. Um, but this clearly 
has two things sticking up, goes like this, comes down, and goes like this here. And it looks like it does this, and it actually may be some kind of 3D image, I'm not sure, because this is what I'm seeing as far as line-wise. But, I mean, and again, on the left picture, you can see what looks like grids. Is it something that's covering? Is it more or less like a weird cover over what they're trying to hide that's in this crack of this ground or whatever this is? Again, it's all got to do with perception. It's hard to tell. Me, to me, it's multiple structures on the ground, and they just put a big blur line to hide these things that are horizontal and not vertically in the air. Um, and of course, you guys can give me your take on this as always. You know that. Um, and so I just want to do a, a quick one for you. If these people had dug into these pictures, they would see this stuff. And for, for the likes of me, they just it's almost like they just want you to go, ooh, ah, yeah, what are they hiding? How about finding it? <laughs> We're trying to figure out what they're hiding. And this is what I come up with. Now, was this stuff put into the picture and then blurred out purposely? I don't know why they do that. You know, I, why would they just turn around and say, okay, we'll just put this fake little tower or building structure, whatever these things are, and then we'll just blur it. So, I don't know, guys. I mean, this is what I've got. This is what I come up with um, after really analyzing this picture and um, uh, really digging into it. This is what I found. You guys, I'm going to go ahead and just zoom in so you guys can check this out a little bit more. Um, this is what I found. There's a the right, and there's the left. Now, I want to see something. If I go back to this other... No, nope, that's not it, right? Okay, that that piece right there, I don't know what that is. It might be just nothing more than a white spot, so to speak, um, in this picture. See it right there? So that may be nothing at all. But again, when I started into this picture, I could see something right here and one right here. And I'm saying, man, there's something in this picture. I don't know what it is. I didn't know if it was a bottom of a structure. I didn't know if it was a top of a structure. Um, and then things started to fall into place. Just going through this and, and just using certain tools to try to pull this whatever is in this blur out. And this is what I come up with. So, I don't know, guys. You guys tell me what you think this thing is. But that's it. Uh, that and what's on top of it. Or, on, I should say, on the ground behind it. And as you can see, it looks like some kind of weird structure piece or whatever. They don't appear to be connected. At least I don't think so. There's too much blackness in between there. And as you can see, there is a shape on the ground here. So, uh, anybody's guess is as good as mine. Whatever the hell this thing is, um, you guys tell me. Here it is. Let me back back out. Here's your finished product. And again, I did go black and white on this just to see, just for the hell of it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom back in so you guys can get a better look at that now. And again, you can see these things going across this blur area. So I'm thinking these are independent structures. I don't think that they're that they're actually up in the air vertically. I don't think that's the case at all. And of course, maybe I'm seeing it differently. Maybe you guys see something I don't. Give me your give me your comments. Let me know what you think. Anyway, guys, again, a little investigation. Don't get me wrong. I had to work hard on this thing to try to drag this stuff out because I tried different ways of trying to pull it out. And this is what I come up with. I had no idea what I was going to find, but there it is. Um, you guys give me your take on it. Let me know. Leave a comment down below. As always, you guys know that. Um, uh, share the video. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know, you know what you thought about it. And uh, give me your take. What you think these things are. Is it nothing been added to this blur? And, and so anybody who decides to dig into this can find this. I don't know why they would do it, but... Um, I think they were clearly trying to block this stuff out and whatever the hell these things are. But anyway, I'll let you guys go. Uh, thanks for watching as always. And um, what we'll do, like I said, just keep in mind about the actual Hangout, uh, the broadcast for tomorrow night, Saturday, 9 p.m. Um, and everybody's invited to get in there and say hello, just to what's up. Um, you know, you know, you guys can ask each other questions. Hey, guys, what do you guys think of this? You know, and then you guys can go ahead and answer what you guys think. And um, I have several topics uh, one to do with here on Earth and several others uh, that I've noticed lately, and I'm going to bring those up, and then I'll just ask for what you guys have brought up and everything else, and uh, we'll just uh, we'll, we'll just see what happens. I mean, it's always a live show. There's nothing... <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, none of it's planned. I mean, it's just live. That's all there is to it. So uh, it's always cool to do it that way uh, because you just never know what we're going to come up with, you know what I mean? But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated, and I will see you at the... Um, the live broadcast with your questions and uh, just to have a good old time just to say hello and jump in there. Always appreciate it. You guys know that. Anyway, guys, again, thanks for watching, commenting, and uh, spreading these videos out. Anyway, peace. Have a good night. Talk to you uh, next video.